This video will demonstrate a web portal I created using ASP.NET 2.0. ASP.NET 2.0 introduced a new technology known as web parts. Web parts can be used to create mashups. A mashup is a site that pulls content from many sources. I have created web parts that show the local weather from the National Weather Center, articles from our RS feed, and several widgets based on the developer APIs of video sharing sites like YouTube, Live Video, and Stickin. My Stickin web part shows the online presence of my friends so I know when they are available for online chat. My RS feed web part shows me recent articles on web development from the Newsvine website. The YouTube web part displays 20 featured videos. I can click on a video to watch it on the YouTube website. I also used Mr. Cook's YouTube IRS feed to list all his videos in another web part. The live video web part shows all the comments for a particular video. Another web part using the live video developer API shows their featured videos. I can move web parts from one area of the web page to another. I can also minimize web part or close it. The free text box HTML editor demonstrates how you can easily include productivity tools as new web parts. This shows several web parts minimized. Then I'm dragging and dropping the weather web part to the top of the left hand side of the window. Now the page is reloaded, the weather is over to the left. And over to the right we have Mr. Cook's videos listed. This is the control for changing a web part. You can change the title or the Chrome or the position of the web part. That is in edit mode. There's also browse mode, design mode, and catalog mode. You can have a catalog of web parts that you can pick and choose for your web portal. And that shows the controls for minimizing and closing a web part. And this is the free text box HTML editor. Then I'm increasing the font size. I'm changing the font color. There are centered the text. There made a the text bold. There I switched to the code view. There's the HTML view and the code view, which is sort of like the front page editor. That pop up is for selecting a image to paste into the
Here's a more close-up view of the widgets. This top widget is the WebWine Web Developer Articles, which is supplied by an RRS feed. There we can see the live video, featured videos using the developer API. It returns XML, which I format using XSL, sort of a style sheet for XML. And this is the number of views and the number of comments. And the links take you to the video or to the user profile. And over to the right is the YouTube featured videos. And at the top is the local weather. And there's Mr. Cook's YouTube videos. If he added any new videos, I'd see him on a list. And there's the free text box editor for editing HTML in your browser. See, it has a lot of buttons, just like a Microsoft Word. It's a full featured text editor. And there's a close up view of YouTube's featured videos. Shows the rating, the number of views, the number of comments, and also the video length. That's the tab for editing or minimizing a web part. That causes the page to reload every time you change a setting like that. There's a close up view of the pane for editing a web part. change its position or its chrome, which is its uh, color scheme. After you minimize the web part, you can also restore it. demonstrates dragging and dropping a web part to a new location. You can see my stick and friends. That tells me if they're online or not.